guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something that I'm actually extremely excited to film, and it's something that was kind of in the works in the back of my mind, and it's another drugstore dupes video. I think the last time I did this video was maybe three or five months ago, it's been a while. This time I've actually come up with 10 different items from the drugstore that are easily comparable to higher end pricier items. So if you guys wanna find out what I tested out and found to be very, very amazing dupes from the drugstore, then please, please, please just keep watching. So let's start off with the lip. Right now I'm actually wearing the drugstore dupe on my lips. Pricier product is actually the NARS Audacious Lipstick and this one in particular is in the shade Anna, which is a gorgeous dusty mauve, the color I gravitate to always when it comes towards lipsticks. Although this is a very, very comfortable creamy lipstick, I'm not knocking NARS by any means. I love the brand. But if you don't want to spend over $30 on a lipstick and you love this color in particular, I have found a drugstore dupe that is a lot more affordable. This one dries down to like a satin finish. The other one is more of a creamy matte finish, but they're very, very comparable in finish as you will see in the swatches as well as in the colors. And again, this NARS one is $32 and I found the dupe in color and just the formulation from ColourPop, which you can find online. And this one is $6 and it's in the shade Lumiere, which was created by the YouTuber Kathleen Lights. I love this one. This is an everyday go-to lipstick for me. I'm wearing it right now. They are so comparable and $6 versus $32, I will definitely Definitely be repurchasing ColourPop when I run out of this one because it's just too pricey and I rather save my money. Both of these lipsticks do offer full coverage creamy wear and they're definitely both very long lasting. So it's up to you if you want to spend the 32 on NARS or the 6 on ColourPop, but the colors are 99.9% .9 identical. The NARS one is unscented whereas the ColourPop one smells a little bit like plastic. This is so weird, but it kind of reminds me of a Cabbage Patch doll with a little bit of vanilla. Very odd. So hopefully I helped you guys save a little bit of money as well. This next dupe is in the form of a setting powder. In fact, it's a loose setting powder. And these are great for just setting your foundation if you just wanna set your concealer under the eyes just to have that more creamier product stay in place and not crease up on you. And of course, get rid of any shine throughout the day. So the high-end product I have for you is the Bye Bye Pores from IT Cosmetics in the loose form. This retails for $24 and you get 0.23 ounces. It's a great product. I love it, but it's $24 and I have found something from the drugstore that is under $3. And it is the NYC New York Color Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder in Translucent. For $3, you get 0.7 ounces. So you get way more. This will last you more than a year. This may last you six months. So I think I would go with the drugstore one just because you will save a lot more money. You can buy multiple tubs of this and you would still be saving more than just buying one of these little guys. Now, however, if you're going to spend your money on a pressed translucent powder, then I do highly recommend the Bye Bye Pores Press from IT Cosmetics. I think this one is better than the loose one and I have not found a drugstore comparable quality as far as this one is. This one's pricey. I think it's also $24 but I have to find a drugstore dupe for this. So far, nothing. But as far as the loose one goes, I definitely highly recommend this one from NYC. $3 or $24, you guys choose. This next drugstore dupe is a rather recent product that was released by Maybelline, and it is their Master Contour Face Contouring Kit. This is a number 10 light to medium. It comes with three beautiful shades. You have a contouring bronzer shade, a pinky blush, and a gorgeous iridescent kind of pearly pink highlight. The only thing I would say about this that isn't so great is that this contouring shade, this bronzer shade, is more of a blush to me. Think of Dallas from Benefit, that kind of color, which is gorgeous. You can use it as a blush slash bronzer, but I don't think this is really a contouring shade. The products are rather creamy, long wearing, easy to blend. I think it's a pretty good find considering it's only $12. It's from the drugstore and it's a full contouring kit. For those of you that are very fair, this contouring shade might work out for you. For me, I feel I need something a little bit more in that taupey kind of of color scheme but it's beautiful as a blush I actually almost prefer it to this blush so for $22 less you can go with the Maybelline and save your money instead of getting the Tarte Tarte Have Princess Volume 2 contouring kit and as you can see in the swatches these pretty much line up perfectly with the ones from Maybelline they're not exactly exactly the same in color but they're so close once they're on your face you can't even tell and I've honestly contoured on this side of my face with this one and with the Maybelline one on the other side of my face and you can't even tell even though I said that this is more of like a blush tone color versus a bronzier shade on my face it looks like a bronzer and I can't tell the difference between the contour on either side of my cheeks so I'm really impressed and the highlight is amazing I actually am wearing the Maybelline highlight today mixed with a 
another highlight I'm gonna go over with you guys next. So again, $12 or $32. I think I'll save my money and buy the $12 one when I hit pan. Next up, I have some really pretty blushes for you. The first one comes from the Tarte Amazonian Clay Long Wearing 12 Hour Blush Line. This is in the shade Peaceful. It's a really pretty kind of peachy pink, but it's $28. It has this pretty like glowy shimmer to it, but again, it's $28 and I wanted to find you guys a dupe that's much more affordable and a little bit friendlier on your budget. So I found that the Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink Blush, which retails for $2.99, is very much so comparable. They both have that sheen to them. They're both very much in that corally pink family. And a fun fact, this pearlescent pink blush from Wet n Wild was recently reformulated and re-released by Wet n Wild, so it's even more pigmented. I actually haven't gotten my hands on the new reformulated one because it's always sold out when I go to my Walgreens, but hopefully I'll find it. But I'm not complaining because the original one is just as good. These two colors are very, very much so dupes. And it's also a dupe for the NARS Orgasm blush as well. So if you're looking to save on a pricier blush from that 20 to $30 range of high-end blushes, check out Wet n Wild because I'm impressed with their products and they're under $3. The next product that I have are single eyeshadows. The pricier one comes from the Stila Magnificent Foils eyeshadow collection. This one is in metallic gilded gold. It doesn't really matter if it's this shade or another one, but I picked this one because they're very similar in the formulation and the consistency of how the products feel and how they apply on the lids. And the drugstore dupe is from Wet n Wild and it is in number 352 Brass. And it's a gold shimmery single eyeshadow. As you guys can see, they look pretty similar. I'm actually wearing the Wet n Wild one on my lids today, and I love this. I recently rediscovered this at work. My friend was wearing it, and I asked her what it was, and she told me it was this. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have that. I have to play with it. Because I, I don't know if you guys remember, but I did a video a couple months ago talking about the full glitter eyeshadow palette from Wet n Wild that came out over the holidays and how I didn't like it. I don't know if it's the single ones are better quality or what, but I really do like this one. And this is 99 cents versus $32. So this is definitely a dupe and you can save up to $31 buying it at the drugstore. These next products are highlights and the expensive one comes from the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Soft and Gentle. It's a very gorgeous, shimmery, slightly subtle highlight. It's really pretty. It kind of has like a pink pearlescence to it. This retails for $32. And I have found that the e.l.f. Baked Blush, which is really a highlight, not a blush, in Pinktastic is a very much so comparable dupe for $3. As you can see in the swatch, these guys are pretty much twins and this is $3 instead of $32. Buy 10 of these and you'd still be under the price range of one of these guys. One of the products I have found to be really important with makeup application is eyeshadow primer. I often do skip it because I find that concealer will double as an eyeshadow primer, but when you want to do a very glittery, a very pigmented eye, you want a good glitter primer. So I know that the Too Faced Glitter Glue is amazing, it's awesome, it's really great, but this costs $20, and I have actually found two drugstore dupes for you that are a lot less expensive than $20. The first one comes from e.l.f., it's the cheaper of the two, it's only $2, it works rather well, and I have loved it for the longest time. To me, it's pretty much a holy grail, especially since it's $18 cheaper than the Too Faced one. The next one that I have found recently was released, and it's from NYX. This glitter primer is amazing. It's $6, so it's a little bit more expensive than the e.l.f. one, but it's still a lot cheaper. It's $14 cheaper than the Too Faced one, and it works just like the Too Faced one for a lot less money, so I definitely have to share this dupe with you guys. These next two products are makeup setting sprays, and the first one is very, very popular on YouTube. I know you guys either own it or you've at least heard about it and know how it works, and it's MAC Fix Plus. I actually bought this in the treble size. It was $10, but this ranges up to $20 if you get the full size. It's kind of pricey. It works well. It does set your makeup. It does fuse any powders together to get rid of any cakiness or any excess on your face and it just keeps that makeup holding and lasting all day. You know, what if you were to spill this one day or lose it? I just feel like it's so expensive. So I wanted to find you guys a much more affordable dupe and I did and I'm really excited to share it with you guys because I have not heard this mentioned on YouTube before, at least I don't think I have, and it's the e.l.f. setting spray at $3. This one is one fluid ounce for the $10 travel size and this is the full size at two ounces. So $3 is still a lot cheaper than $10 and you're getting way more product. This smells amazing. It feels very natural and very nice on the skin. I have very sensitive skin. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't do anything to make my skin feel irritated and it's a heck of a lot cheaper. So if you guys were looking for a more inexpensive setting spray, then definitely check out e.l.f. because I really love this guy. I travel with it all the time. The next two dupes are nail polish and it's so funny because I was actually putting on this nail polish last week and I found the dupe within my own collection. So the pricier one comes from Butter 
London, and this is their 10 times Pat and Shine Polish in Tata. And it's kind of this neutral gray, almost very light purpley gray. It's so pretty, I love it. I was wearing it in my everyday go-to neutral nudes lipstick video, and I realized within my own collection, I own the dupe from Essie in the shade Chinchilli. These two are pretty much twins. This one's $18 and this is $8.50, so this is a good $10 cheaper. It's still pricey because this is not a $1, $2, $3 nail polish. It's not really a drugstore nail polish, but it's still about half the price less than this one, and they're the exact same color. And then these last two dupes that I have for you guys are actually skincare related. And the pricey one comes from Bioderma. This is their micellar cleansing water. I love it because it doesn't sting my eyes. I've had issues with the one from Simple Skincare stinging my eyes when I go to remove my eye makeup. And this Bioderma micellar cleansing water ranges from $7 to $20 depending on whether you get the travel size like this one or the bigger bottle. But for $7, you're getting such a small amount of product. For $8.99 from the drugstore, you can get 13.5 fluid ounces from Garnier. I love this. I have been using this a lot this month. I've already put a small dent into it. A little bit goes a long way. This removes my eyeshadow, my eyeliner, my mascara within 30 seconds. All I do is kind of moisten a little cotton round, place it over the eye, kind of hold it in place for a couple seconds. And when I remove it, 90% of the product is gone. And then I simply kind of just rub it in a circular motion to remove the rest. This doesn't sting my eyes either. This is a little bit pricier because I have to pay for it online. I have to pay for shipping. This guy is a lot bigger. I can go to my local drugstore, pick it up. And I have this for quite a few months, if not a full year, because this will last forever. So definitely another amazing drugstore dupe. So that's it for my drugstore dupe video number two. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more drugstore dupe videos in the future, please do let me know below in the comment box or give this video a thumbs up. That way I know to film more. I really have fun playing with drugstore products, buying drugstore products, testing them out and comparing them to things already in my collection, seeing what works, what doesn't, what's comparable. Just a really fun kind of homework or experiment. So if you guys wanna see more videos like this, it may take me a while to come up with five, eight, 10 products that are dupes of one another, but I'll definitely sit down and play and get another video up for you guys like this in the near future, maybe in another month or so. Again, just let me know in the comment box or give this video a thumbs up so I know. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. And the Bioderma Missler water ranges from $7 in this trial size. In this, and then the, and this Bioderma... Um,